Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tyrant and today I'm going to be talking about Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. So at EVO this year, I was lucky enough to be invited along to the SNK booth to record some exclusive footage of the game. I had about maybe 45 minutes to an hour to get content and yeah man, I wanted to focus on the game mechanics as well as getting some matches in too. Not only that, SNK were kind enough to hook me up with a goodie bag featuring these awesome Sanwa buttons featuring the Fatal Fury cast. Now that's pretty dope. I want to give a special shout out to Rome himself who took time to teach me some of the mechanics of the game and how everything works. And of course, a big shout out to Kizzy K as well, who had some matches with me using Rock Howard against my Terry Bogard, which I'll show you guys later on in the video. For more information on how things work, you can check out the City of the Wolves website. SNK have an excellent guide up there to give you the ins and outs of the game to get you ready for launch. Okay, this build had five playable characters and I was mostly using Terry. What struck me the most immediately is how the game feels like SNK's answer to Street Fighter VI. A lot of the mechanics and concepts seem very similar and it's pretty fitting actually with SNK's history and their games taking a lot of inspiration from the Street Fighter series. First of all, let's talk about the rev system which is arguably the biggest mechanic in the game. This is linked to a number of system mechanics and is governed by the rev meter. Think of the rev system as the City of the Wolves answer to the Street Fighter 6 drive system. It starts off at 0% at the start of the round and then goes up and down depending on the actions performed. Once you hit 100%, you'll go into overheat. Think of this as Street Fighter 6's burnout. Once you're in overheat, you can't use any more rev actions for a limited amount of time. The guard gauge, which is the little blue gauge below your life bar, also turns red. This means it can deplete now when blocking normal attacks. Once it hits zero, you will be guard broken and open to a huge combo. So be very aware of going into overheat. There are some huge risks here. Rev guard is a special block that will put more distance between you and the opponent, almost like a push block. The longer you hold it, the more your rev gauge will go up, so be careful. Rev Arts are this game's EX special moves and come at a cost of 25% of your rev meter. Rev Excel is a mechanic that allows you to cancel one Rev Arts move into a different Rev Arts move. I think this is where a lot of the creativity is going to come in when it comes to creating combos. The game also features some SNK staples such as hops as well as normal jumps, you can run, of course as well as special moves you have your super moves, also known as ignition gear for level 1 supers or redline gear for level 2 supers. There is one more rev system mechanic, but before we talk about that, we have to talk about the SPG or selective potential gear. This is a very interesting mechanic and you get to choose this at the character select screen. Basically how it works is you have one third of your life bar, whether that be at the start, middle or end. And once your character is in that life threshold, they gain some additional benefits. You gain a slight damage boost and slow health recovery, but you also gain access to the rev blow. Think of this as City of the Wolves drive impact from SF6. It costs 15% rev meter, it's a slow startup move with armor, and you can also use it in the air. You can cancel into this from rev arts, and you can also use rev blow right back on reaction if you see it. Very, very similar to drive impact. The final benefit from SPG gives you access to your hidden gear move. This is your character's ultimate attack and obviously the requirements are high. You need 2 meters and be an SPG. But they dish out a ton of damage and look pretty freaking awesome so yeah, be sure to bust these out whenever you get them. KO Terry wins! So that's the rev system but of course there are some other mechanics to play around with too. Breaking is back, of course allowing certain moves to become safer and giving you additional combo properties. Faint allows you to fake doing a special move to create some mind games and mix-ups. For example, when pressuring the opponent, you could fake doing a special move and then throw them. Or you could even use this in combos, cancelling normals into the faint and then into another normal to extend. There are of course also some defensive mechanics. Just defense requires you to block at just the right time and sees the player receive some benefits, such as slight health recovery, rev meter decrease, and the chance to do a guard cancel, which I'll talk about in a moment. Hyper defense is similar, but you press forward instead during a block string, timing your input just right on a follow-up attack. This is most likely a way to get out of true strings and chip death situations. Guard cancel allows you to do a number of actions from a hyper or just defense. Cancel the defense animation with a special level 1 or 2 super, rev blow or hidden gear to fight back and show the opponent who's boss. There are also high and low dodge attacks. Honestly, it feels like they thought of so many different mechanics, but they all work so well in harmony together. You also have the wild punish, which is basically this game's answer to punish counter state. If you attack the opponent while they're in recovery from a move, you can trigger this state. This gives a lot more hit stun and allows you to go for even bigger combos than usual. 
with so many different mechanics and so many different ways to link them all together, the game feels so freeform and it's extremely fun. I love this game so far and I can't wait to play the next build when it's available. Honestly, guys, this game just looks so beautiful. It's such a joy to play. And like I said, I'd only played the game for about sort of 45 minutes and I was already having so much fun in matches, figuring out the mechanics, figuring out combos. And yeah, honestly, like I can't wait for this game. I'm definitely going to be covering it more on the channel when I get the opportunity. Like I mentioned earlier, guys, I did get some cool matches with Kizzy K, which I'm going to throw in at the end of this little video. But I hope you learned the mechanics of the game and, you know, picked up something new from this video. Uh, if you weren't really looking forward to this game, maybe now you kind of understand a bit more about it. Let me know what you think about it. You know, like, are you going to be playing it? Which characters are you looking forward to? Which characters do you look forward to being revealed? Just let me know in the comments and enjoy the matches with Kizzy. I'm out of here, guys. Tyrant done. I'll see you in the next stream or video. What? <laughs> Get off me! 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 Oops! Why? Rock you! Ready! Punish! And you can turn! Counter hit! No escape! You can! Yeah! Rock you! You can! Terry wins! Round two! Get ready! Fight! SPG! Fight SPG! 
Counter hit! Rock you! Rock you! Burning! Get ready! 